Hello everyone. The paper we will discuss today is 10 Health Bead Pellet Injection and Laser Engagement. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to hear your comments. Section 3 Performance of the 10 Health Bead Pellet Injection System. The three dimensional proof system identified special distributions of flying bead pellets with numbers beyond 1800 at 10 Hz using the upgraded machine 10 Hz pellet injection and laser engagement beyond 5 minutes has been achieved the duration of operation was limited by the pellet supply, figure 4, shows three-dimensional distributions of the position of injected bead pellets at 10 Hz for the first part, 3 minutes, over 5 minutes operation, injected pellets were categorized as as follows by numbers captured light blue 1704 illuminated blue 385 gamma ray generation led 103.5 Corresponding probable rays were 93% for capture, 21% illumination, and 7.4% for gamma ray generation, respectively. Distribution of bees in the horizon horizontal or a vertical plane can clarify, clarify properties and accuracy of the rotating disk pellet supply system, figure 5a and b, show the distributions of injected bead pellets in the horizontal x, y and vertical y, z planes respectively. The x or y directions donate the tangentially or radial direction of the rotating disk respectively as shown in figure 5a most of the illuminated pellets were distributed in a region plus minus two minute two millimeter in the x direction and plus minus 0 0.1 millimeter in y direction, differences in distributions in the x, y plane can be explained by guiding in space at a bead release point on the injection harder there is no guiding for the tangential or x direction in contrast, the radial or y direction is guided by the hole with a diameter of 1.1 mm, a bead position along the vertical direction or z direction is controlled by synchronizing the timing or laser 
illumination onto a bed. Therefore, the distribution in the Z direction was within 0.5 mm as shown in figure 5b. Figure 5c e shows the histograms of bees along the x, y, and z axes, respectively values of mean and standard deviation SD of bees along the axis are listed in table 1. The SD for the tangential direction can be explained by fluctuation of translation of the rotating disk. The rotating disk gives a speed of translation of 15.7 mm per second for bees at the release point the translational distance is 3.0 mm at the height of laser illumination the SD along the X direction for capture 0.8 6 mm corresponds to 29% of the translational distance. Collisions of bead within holes on the disc before release would case fluctuations in the speed of translation. Fine alignment along the X direction has the potential to increase the probability of illumination or gamma ray generation from figure 5C and table 1. The mean value along the X axis for capture minus 0.355 mm was shifted from that for gamma ray generation minus 0.055 mm. Displacement can be aligned using a target stage. The previous one health operation achieved an illumination probability of 7.5 89% was the mean value of displacement between capture and gamma ray generation was within 0.1 mm. For the radial direction, triple distributions of bees can be explained by collisions of bees with an injector wall from figure 5a. There are triple peaks along the radial direction with peaks of minus 0.8 mm plus 0.1 mm and plus 1.0 mm. Respectively, the second peak corresponds to the position of the hole on the desk. The displacement of the first and third peaks is 1.8 mm. This value is comparable to the space of a disk supporter 2.0 mm on the injection header. Therefore, distributions for the first and third peaks can be explained by the fact that released bees collided with a wall of wides 2 mm along the radial direction and were then guided by the wall. 
As for the second pick, the released breeze were guided by the horse on the disc without collisions with the wall. The reason for deviation in the vertical direction is under consideration. The synchronizing Synchronization timing along the Z direction was calculated assuming a fixed acceleration from and timing difference of bees passing through the two photo diode arrays with 40 millimeter vertical separation. The flying bees are accelerated by gravity. The vertical velocity at the laser illumination height is evaluated at 0 0.181 meter per second, meter per second. From figure 5e and table 1, the SD along the vertical axis for capture is 0 0.183 mm. This value is consist if we assume a timing jitter of 1 millisecond or an acceleration jitter of 0 0.01 meter per second. The reason for the SD is an issue for the future. The time history of bead distribution clarifies the periodic pattern of the injector along the tangential direction, figure 6, shows the short history of the injected bead position, tangential x top, radial y middle, vertical z bottom, as shown in figure 6a, a tangential or x position of bees indicates a periodic jumping around 3 mm or minus 2 mm for every 200 shots. These jumps are also shown in figure 5a and c. The 200 shots correspond to one cycle of disc rotation. This indicates that the disc was titled around the X direction. Tight tilt control of the disc ara disc would improve deviations in distribution. A gamma ray signal with correlation around the laser focusing direction can be an indicator of bead position, figure 7. Represents a gamma ray signal for from ND1 minus X direction in relation to the pellet position X from figure 7. The gamma ray signal increases when the bead position is close to x equals 0 mm, the gamma ray signal represents generation of rela relativistic fast electrons through ultra intense laser meter interaction. Generation of fast election electrons depends on focal intensity rather than laser energy or power therefore the gamma ray signal 
can be used to indicate whether bees or pellets are located at the des designated positions where the laser are focused. Operation at 10 Hz improves illumination or gamma ray generation frequencies by three times compared with the previous 1 Hz injection system. Figure 8 represents the progress of the bead pellets injection system. A. Number of monitored injected pellets. B. Frequency of illumination and gamma ray generation. Figure 8a shows that with 10 Hz operation in 2018, the number of injected bees reached 3,500, a three hold increase compared with the previous 1 Hz operation, figure 8b shows that illumination frequency improved to 2.1 Hz and the gamma ray generation frequency to 0.7 Hz. These values are three times these achieved with the previous 1 Hz injection system. In addition, we demonstrated for the first time the use use of an inserter that works at the same frequency as the laser towards the reactor. Thank you for listening to the end of today's show.